Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jake from todaysiphone.com and here's your TIP daily for March 7th, 2013. Okay, now the first story of the day has to do with Apple's Maps application. Now a columnist from PC Magazine did some head-to-head -head testing with the top mobile uh, mapping applications, which are Apple's uh, Maps application, Google Maps, and Waze. Uh, each of these three people got in a separate car with a separate mapping application and drove to a bunch of different places in California and the results were that Apple's Maps application was actually the most reliable in terms of directions, beating both Waze and Google Maps. Now this doesn't really surprise me personally because I've used Apple Maps a ton of times and it's always worked great for me, uh, but the Apple Maps application got a ton of really bad press when it first launched. So it's interesting to see that at least some of the press is turning around. Okay, moving on, both the New York Times and the New York Post are reporting that Apple has run into a pretty big issue with its potential streaming radio service uh, that concerns royalty fees. Apparently Apple is trying to negotiate a deal with record labels to pay six cents per 100 songs streamed, which is six cents lower than what Pandora pays, now obviously Apple is trying to go for the cheaper prices to offer a cheaper subscription to consumers down the road when this service launches, uh, but there seem to be some bumps in the road. Record labels and companies don't want to accept such low fees when they could get higher prices from competitors like Spotify or Pandora. So hopefully Apple works this out soon. Tons of people are clamoring for an Apple branded music streaming service and it would definitely be a huge hit. Um, so fingers crossed that all these issues get resolved and this thing can launch as soon as possible. And finally, a new round of rumors suggests that Apple could be in talks with Intel to install some Intel processors in the next round of iDevices. Now this would definitely be super cool. Apple already rocks Intel chips in all of its computers, um, but currently for their iOS devices, the company produces its own custom silicone chips. Um, Intel is pretty new to the mobile, you know, handheld device game with uh, the Atom processors. So maybe a few years before we actually see an iPhone with Intel inside. But if the performance of the MacBook Pros and iMacs and other devices like that are any indication, an iPhone or an iPad with an Intel processor would be great. Okay, well that's all the big news for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Your question of the day today is, have you gotten over all the issues and, you know, problems with the Mapsgate fiasco when the iOS 6 Maps application first launched? Or do you still prefer some third-party application, whether it's Waze or TomTom Tom or Google Maps or something like that? You can let me know in the comment section down below or on Twitter at TIP underscore Jake. Please don't forget the links to everything I talked about in this video in the description down below, so definitely check those out. And as always, for more news, views, and reviews, don't forget to hit up todaysiphone.com.